And so we started this band and, and we had a, we had like a moment where we just fucking ruled Los Angeles and San Diego, ruled it. I and mean, we had fucking Pearl Jam open for us, Alice in Chains open for us, Tool open for us, Rage Against the Machine open for us. All these bands supported us. We were like dominating and it was like this moment and it was just like, I mean, it was just like fun. The songs are terrible, but it was like a great live show. The guitar player went on to start Velvet Revolver, Dave Kushner, right. drummer Bobby started Orgy. And, uh, and then, you know, Kelly joined Goldfinger, you know, and, and it's like, wasn't Tommy Lee involved? Tommy Lee produced the album. So, or most of the album, this guy, Mark Dodson produced part, uh, part of the record as well. And Tommy was the best. He brought us up to his house in Westlake village. And it was just like, Heather Locklear was there. We're, and I'm just like a kid, <laughs> oh just like, God, you know, this 18 year old kid with like, like, you know, the most beautiful, like Heather Locklear was the, the most beautiful, gorgeous, yeah, yeah, so most awesome. Gorgeous woman. And yeah. Uh, oh. yeah, just the best. And it was like, we were at his house. Like, what the hell's going on? But he was the kindest and the funniest guy. He would just, lay on the ground and just light his farts on fire in the middle of <laughs> oh our set. God. I'd be trying to get this vocal. And he's like, come here, come here, come here. Wait, 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 hang on. And then just light his fart. And I'd be like. What was Heather Locklear's response to these actions? Well, she wasn't there when he was doing okay. that. It was like, he was very, he was very kind of mellow around Heather, you know, but okay. in the studio, he was like this wild man, right. you know? Um, but it was, it was a really great experience working with Tommy and, and just having all that. But it was like the band, I mean, in the end, song is king and so the songs have to be there. And like you were talking about earlier, like these songs in Goldfinger that still stand the test of time. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping are, are, are just good songs because yeah. they've lasted for 30 years. And we were never meant to be the next Red Hot Chili Peppers. We just right. weren't, you know, and it was like Goldfinger was the band that was meant to kind of like help me, you know, kind of like get out of selling shoes ultimately. Right, right. Right. 